find them in Isaiah 58, the 11th verse that we read. Isaiah 58, the 11th verse. The Good News Translation puts this in a way that I love very much. It says, and I will always guide you, Grandma, that's God, and satisfy you with good things. Amen. I will keep you strong and well. Amen. You will be like a garden Amen. that has plenty of water, Amen. like a spring of water Amen. that never goes dry. Amen. First thing there, the Lord says that he will be your guide. Amen. Who is a guide? A guide is one who leads the traveler to the destination and also explains to the traveler everything that the traveler needs to know to the end of the journey. You and I will remember those that they call tour guides when we go on pilgrimages or visit to some nice places. The Bible says that we are pilgrims here on earth, according to Hebrews 11 13. And so God is a tour guide to us who know that we are tourists in this world and mommy knows that that she's a pilgrim here on earth am i right but god your lord your god is more than a tour guide he is a tour guide that also carries special package of promises and blessings as he guides you back in this journey of life as he guides any of us that will allow God to be his or our tour guide in this journey of life. For example, three things very quickly that he has as his guiding grandma and everyone that trusts in him in the journey of life. Number one, this tour guide is a provider. Amen. Amen. He provides the basic needs of those that he guides. As he says in Isaiah 58, 11 that we read, I will always guide you and satisfy you with good things. Grandma, mommy, God might not have provided all your wants in 80 years, but you cannot deny the fact that he has provided all your needs in 80 years. It says in Philippians 4.19, Philippians 4.19, and my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by christ jesus he might not have supplied all your wants because sometimes the things we want are not the things that we really need according to the will of god but by the will of god man god has supplied all your needs shall we clap for jesus on behalf of grandma when i see your children by the grace of god i know virtually all of them Every time I see them, I see a God who has been good and great to the parents that brought these children to the world. That's a promise fulfilled, and that's a promise that God has kept. Even in tough times, God says that He will be your Jehovah Jireh. And I'm sure you have testimonies of that man. You have had ups and downs in life, valleys and mountains. But in all that, you have never failed to see the presence and the goodness of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. The second thing that the tour guide promises mommy is that he will preserve her and strengthen her physical bodies as he continues to guide her. In Isaiah 58, 11 that we read, he said, I will keep you strong and well. He did that for the children of Israel when they were going through their journey in the wilderness. The Bible said none of them was feeble. Even at age 120, Scripture says that Moses' eyes did not go dim, and his natural forces did not abate. Glory be to God that kept mommy strong and healthy. I came in and she jumped on her feet. I read the Bible passage and mommy was on her feet. We give all glory to God, man. Hallelujah. And we are thankful to God. Amen. And I know that today is not just a day that we have come to celebrate with you. It's also a day of miracle. Amen. Everyone that has come here today, the same miracle of good health and strength that God has given mommy. We are leaving this place with this same miracle. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So that at 80, you'll be jumping up and down. Amen. So that at 80, you will even climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Finally, this tall guide has promised that he will prosper the soul of those that he guides. Isaiah 58 11 says, You will be like a garden that has plenty of water, Amen. like a spring of water that never goes dry. Amen. This is the soul that drinks water and can never thirst again. In the fourth chapter of the book of John, Jesus Christ told that woman, that Samaritan woman at the well of Jacob, that the water that I'm going to give you is the living water. And when you drink of it, you will not thirst Amen. again. Amen. Mommy, we pray that God will continually supply you Amen. with the living water. Amen. You will not thirst. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In conclusion.